in that. No, no, no. I want you to use that. I want you to use the chopper, the electric one. Yeah. Behind you. I'll tell you where it is. It's over here, by Right there. Up against the wall. And you can plug in. Yeah, you see over there. Are you all right? Yeah. What's that? Camera. Leave that. We're gonna, I'll show you how to chop that right off there. I just need a really good sharp knife. How long do the, the meatballs have to cook? Well, I'm gonna put them under the broiler. 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Oh, that's not bad. And then you, you got the sauce already made? No. No? We're gonna need something to write out. The hunger tray? The bread crumbs. I want one of those big ones, I want that bowl over here. That that chair comes over here. Get down two big bowls. That one and then that, and then if that one's good. Uh, yeah, that'll be okay. Actually we need a bigger one than this. Wait a minute, no, that's that's the right side. I want the one on the bottom. Is that a is, is that a flat edge? No. Get the one that no no don't yeah, that's good. We're gonna make sausage as well, right? I need a good knife, the small spooky knife, that'll work. Should be a solid steel one. No, no, no. Okay, what you're going to do, uh, yeah, I want you to slice, peel the onions, then we're going to slice them, we're going to put them in that, that grinder, chop them up. Then they're going to go into another little bowl to hold it. One of chops, but we're going to use them in different things. One for the meatball and one for the sauce. Right, so the key at this stage of the game is to, if you want to, yes, pine over there by the toaster oven, that blue one. Onion, garlic, Italian parsley, salt and pepper, and uh, cheese, Romano Parmesan, egg. Oh, you like that. Three eggs. Yes. Three and a half pounds. Three is enough. I haven't made lasagna since Paul a long time ago. You want to help? He, he, that was his favorite thing. Oh, he did? Yeah, every yeah, time wow, I come home from college, I used, the, to, I used to make lasagna for him. I like to cook, uh, Carolyn. My mother liked to cook. I don't understand why you leave the ends on. No, oh, okay. <laughs> no, that's not some serious. Now, what do you need to do? You make the piece of meat and crumble it. Like that, a little bit then that's it, so that every can mix. So we can mix. mix it. Right. Right. Um, you're gonna go even bit more. Now take yeah. that one and lock in the bottom. Okay, that's enough now. Use the chopper, put the lid on. When you put the lid on, it, it slides in, and when it slides in, it's gonna turn on. How is it? Does it look fine enough? Now, no, that's real good. Now, you gotta put that in a bowl. Get a bowl out of there. I thought we were measuring. Get a bowl out of there. Well, it's, we're gonna use a total of three on this for both. Put it in there. Oh, but it won't work. I used to make concoctions, right? Yeah. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I made really good concoctions. And then Paul would have a fit. He'd say, Mom, you don't even know how you did it. How are you going to do this again if we want it? Well, you can't. <laughs> Is that yours, Paul? A chopper? That's a good nice. idea, huh? Laura has one, too. Invaluable. 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 See, I used to do all that stuff my, myself because there wasn't oh. all this equipment stuff. I, I remember David Lovonic. He used to say my meatballs were devil's food <laughs> because I everybody liked the garlic. <laughs> so I I put a little extra garlic in to give it that kick, and he called it devil's food. Yeah, and also on my own. Remember, I went to the cooker store. Yeah. You got any garlic? You don't have to clean that out all that much because we're going to put some other ingredients in. What's that? Garlic. Huh? Garlic. You buy it in a bag. I what? usually buy the head. Um, well, that's all peeled. <laughs> I need one each. One here. Take the bigger one. This we're going to use for the meatballs. This we'll use for the sauce. So this is what I, I want. You can chop the whole thing up and put it into a bowl. No, same thing. This is one big clove. Two of them. I need one for the sauce and one for the, for the one meatballs. One big. You can chop it all this up. Is a big Lock it in first. The bottom locks into the, into the bottom, that's it. Again, it's not in You gotta set it so it's... Oh, forget about the center. Center doesn't matter. The big ball, the whole thing. Have to cut it in half. Now you gotta get that out. Put that into a, into a, a coffee cup or something. There's a bowl right there. Use the tablespoon. 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 the whole ball. One whole ball goes in there. One whole ball goes in the sauce. Yeah. Watch. Now, next thing, you gotta take this, cut the end off, and put that in the chopper. Chopper? Yep. That, is that right half yeah. right there, you think? Yeah. Now, this is gonna chop funny. It's gonna leave a lot of big leaves. So, you may have to chop it and then One? clean the side. Grab you tell me. I need more. A little more. Excellent. That's plenty. Yeah, so Take the top off, and you gotta yeah. use a use a spoon to move stuff around. Oh, it's it's probably a, a half of a head. 
Yeah, I got it. That's great. That's good. That's excellent. Hey, look at that. See? Uh, no. All from people. I, I do it by eyeball. They want to measure it so when they go home, they know how to do it. Yeah. Because everybody has got to be screwed up now. It's going to go in there. there. It Not will yet. go in there. Not here. Get the knife. This is the basil. Carolyn. Okay. What I want you to do is, with your knife, with your sharp, just cut little pieces like this. Okay? And then put that, if you want to go down to about, down to about there. And put that all in a small bowl. That, okay. That's for the sauce. Okay. But, you know, just write down half a head. Half a head of parsley. Yeah. Because all, all that's thrown into the meatballs. It doesn't go into the sauce. All that parsley goes in the meatballs. That's going to go in there, too. Did you measure it? Yeah, someplace there. Yeah. We just put that in a little bowl for you. No, but most of, most of that's all soft. You can throw it out. Okay. Not yet. The garlic is over there. But I want a little bit. I don't need a full cup for the, for the Italian, for the meatballs. Now, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's enough. But the spoon is plenty. And we need the salt and pepper shakers from the stove. Honey. Just one. That's for the sauce. Basil is for the sauce, not for the meat. Okay. Yes. Okay. See that? Yeah. Put down, you don't need as much salt because the cheese is salty. Now, um, take the, fill it up, sprinkle it all over that meat. I'm gonna Keep do it. You need three eggs. That's why you have to do it over the dish. Your grandma teaches something. Don't let me sit here for nothing. Now we need the gar all, dump in all the garlic. Yep. Go slow with the other one. Right? Let me see how much it is. That's plenty. No, it's not. It's more like it's a half cup. Okay. What you also need to do, Carolyn, is not take all that stuff out of the oven. Put the top rack as high as you can. It's underneath the broiler. Yeah, no. Where's the big round one? No, 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 no. no. That's for pasta. There's a big stainless steel one in there. That's the one in your hand. Okay, Paul. Now comes the fun part. You gotta get your hands dirty. It's on the door. It's on the far end of the top. No, no, no. Is that? Oh, yeah. You, okay. Can oh, yeah. measure it? Yeah, that's fine. Now, go ahead and put it in, sprinkle it, and open the other one. That's, that's the way I made me fall. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's much. No, I want the rack. I want the broiling pan itself. That's it. Just the bottom. Take everything else out. But bring me that, that bottom, and I want you to also get me some aluminum foil, that okay. good solid mix. Sometimes you need, it's not moist enough, so it's, if I take your hands and roll the ball, okay, small so ball. You Sometimes you can't get them to roll because it's still dry. Then you add water, that's a meatball. Watch. One more thing you need to do is you need to take that package of sausage, and cut the sausages right in half, but I want to do half. Yeah, well, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, okay, we're gonna so start to make the sauce, make and then add the tomatoes, and then after that warms up, and then we put in the meat. Actually, there's more than we need to. Usually, I put in five, five links cut in half. She's got eight. Five links cut in half, ten pieces. S A U C E. S A U C E. That's what I do. I get you set on the chair, so it's down below you, right? Yeah, so I do. You gotta put both the sausage and the meatballs to make the sauce taste good. Carolyn, you can put the broiler on. And is that top rack up top? Roll it in your hands. That's a little too big. Roll it. You get a good outer surface because you want the outer ah. surface to be tight. I don't care about what's in the middle. I care about the tightness on the outside. Okay, that's good. Yeah, you gotta remember something. There's a ton. What's gonna happen is a ton of, of, of uh, breadcrumbs in here. The breadcrumbs absorb the fat from the meat. And then you got all the cheese, and the parsley, and the garlic, and the onion. So there's a lot of moisture that's, yeah. that's in these things. That's what the moisture. Right, right. Looks like it. Okay, that's it. Just take some of the meat off of that, that one. one. <laughs> This is the, what they're oh, used meatballs. to. They're used to these big meatballs. Yeah. Good, good, good. Now, they all go, the whole sheet goes underneath the broiler. Make sure the broiler's on and the door is slightly open. Okay, now, here's what I would do. I don't like, you can fry these, which is what the traditional thing is, everybody fries, you don't need to fry them. Just can throw them right into the sauce. No, we don't need to. You, you want to fry them? All right, then what you need to do is get a good size frying pan. It should be one, Amy, that's got, it's like black and white polka dotted. Let me see. Yep, that's it. A little bit of oil, olive oil. 
There should be some on the, on the back behind the stove. Right. See it aimed right against the wall. Yes. On the right hand side against the wall. Yes. Yeah. That's for the sauce. Now, if you want to, you can get the sauce to pull up the pot. And I'll show you what to do to stop the sauce. Uh, in my lazy soup yeah. on the bottom, Paulie, right. get yeah. another can of tomatoes. What'd you buy? Tomato sauce? Well, one can of can of tomatoes. I want not, not sauce, I want the crushed concentrated tomatoes. Bigger cans of crushed tomatoes. Crushed, crushed concentrated. concentrated. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now we have to open, save yeah. the sauce one. We, we don't need the sauce one. But These two plus tomatoes. that one. Plus the con what you got? What's the other one? That's what I want. Crushed tomatoes. There. Yeah. 22 ounce cans. With yeah. the oil. Yeah, right here. No, pour it in the bottom. Keep going, keep going. It's not Italian. Now we have a couple cup of oil. Of oil. What's that? One more. Onions. Yeah, a cup of onion. Yeah. So you can put away that oil. Yep. Yeah. Salt and pepper. The top right floor. No, 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 no. Over there. Get a wooden okay. spoon. That's it. And don't forget to put the salt and pepper in now. Stir it. You don't want it to burn. What you want to do is just stir it a little bit. You should start to open the cans of tomatoes now. P-A-R-M-A-S-A-N. Don't dump them in yet. You gotta make sure that you're starting to get the, the onions and the garlic translucent. Don't let it burn. P-A-S-I-L. How's it look? Crushed concentrated tomatoes. Concentrated. C-O-N-C. How's it looking? Can you smell it? How's it smell? It should be. You put more onion if you want. No, because you got the basil. No parts in the sauce. No, they're, they're like an inch and three quarter. No, no, you don't screw around. No, 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 nothing. We're gonna put a little salt and sugar in. That's you cut it enough. Now start to put the left. Okay, you gotta get the gloves on your left hand side. Turn down. Get that. Get that. That onion off the the stove. Yeah. Okay. Good. What I normally do to Carolyn is uh, there's always a little tomatoes left in there. So you take one can and you sort of put a little water in it and shake it up. And then pour it in the next can, shake it up, pour it in the last can, shake it up, and then dump it into the, the sauce. Got it? That way you're not wasting any tomatoes. Does it make sense to you? Now make sure you stir it, because you want to make sure you don't have all those, the garlic and the onion on the bottom. You want it to stir it into the whole sauce. Mm -hmm. Never ask to rotate, like, they're going to, they're good. Are they good, are they good and brown, or just, well, you need to do it twice. Twice. Yeah, yeah. and you know, you'll tell, you can see if it's, if it, if it looks on one side so you move it to the side. You don't need to get a complete ring around it. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is to get it so what you do is you also get it tight enough so it's gonna hold up in that sauce. You don't want to break it all apart. You're not making a meat sauce. That's how much sauce you want to make, right? Garlic, onion, baked sweet basil, then the oil. Saute it, do not burn it. Dump in three cans of crushed concentrated tomatoes. Stir it up. How's they looking? Are they starting to... What, what are you feeling bad about? That's good. good. That's all right. They're going to get, you're going to put it in the sauce. It's going to get soft again. Paul, I hope I'm rinsing out the can. No, put a little bit of water in one can. Switch it around. Then dump that can in the next can. Switch it around. Gotcha. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, what? Is that... Was that... Is that up all the way high? I knew, I knew Turn the it up. Alright, well. <laughs> Later on. Thank you. you want to taste it? Yeah, I have another taste. I'm going to ask you. They're not even close on this side. Thank you. Thank you for decorating. Yeah. Give my best. Uh, yeah, you want to brown it. Again, you're not worried about cooking the inside. Okay, pull the pot forward so that you don't have to fill anything. Sauce pot, pull it forward so you can easily get to it. And dump everything in. Yep, oil it too. So what I'm telling you. Okay, now check the meatballs so that they're not burning. Okay, now, you got to get a small bowl for Paulie's three. What is it? Fire alarm. Why is it on? Because it smells, it's smelling the smoke from the cooking. Your father's going to fix it. All right, right, just let it cook. What's it on temperature-wise? What do you got yeah. on the back burner? Oh, no, no, no. Now, one of the things you should know, just so you know when you're cooking, if indeed you burn the bottom of the tomato sauce, don't scrape it while you're cooking. Just leave it. Just leave it. And then because it'll basically, it won't flavor the, the tomatoes unless you scrape it up. But the idea is don't let it get like that. And it didn't come out like a little piece of hard brick. It's, you you, have, you see how the breadcrumbs are? Yes. But like I said to you, what, what the breadcrumbs are doing is they're holding moisture in for all of that fat. That's what you're tasting, is the fat from the beef. And plus all the, the, the onion, the garlic, 
the parsley oh, cheese. I've told you about this one before. What is it? Bob Menery. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 